Welcome to HKB. I'm Shaz. And I'm Leon. Just in case you were wondering what films have been released in Hong Kong in the first quarter of 2024, well, we have the answer for you with this video. So today we're going to take a look at our select picks as there's far too many releases for us to cover all of them. And what do we have first, Shaz? We have Lost in the Stars from 2022, released by Panorama Entertainment. Now those of you that follow our channel may remember that we covered this one for Cine Asia last year. It was released theatrically in the UK and we had a really, really good time with this. But before we dash out and send off this one, please do bear in mind that there is a imprint release of this one which we will be covering in a review very soon next we have one more chance from 2023 again released by panorama entertainment this one i'm a little bit excited about shaz because we've got charlie and fat in there and nita ewan so Ooh. we've got two of our favorite actors there and not just that we have a little link again to cine asia because it was written by Felix Chong, who directed oh, right. The Goldfinger. Wow, there you go. So, yeah, it's about a pathological gambler who um, finds a way to connect with his autistic son. So I kind of like Charlie and Fat in these type of roles. So, you know, quite interesting. Mm, sounds good. Next, we have One Night at School from 2023, released by Vicol Entertainment. So this is a madcap sort of comedy it, it looks quite fun you know it, it looks something that's like maybe a cross between over my dead body and maybe the breakfast club but it's set at school overnight and we've got one of my new favorites summer chan's in there oh. and eric cop who we love mm -hmm. so you know that might be a good one if you like your hong kong comedies keep an eye for that one excellent then we have the roundup no way out from 2023 released by Edco Films Limited. So those of you who like your South Korean actioners, especially with the King of Slap, Don Lee, then you might like this. This is the third in the, the series that started with the Outlaws and continued with the Roundup. And with the Roundup Punishment coming out this year, you might want to catch up and watch this third installment in the series. Then we have Death Notice from 2023, released by CN Entertainment. This one, Chaz, directed by Herman Yao, one of our favorite directors, as we mentioned in our top directors video. Yes, yeah. And um, it's a thriller, and it's about a vigilante, and the vigilante is played by Danny Chan, who played Bruce Lee in It Man 4. So it'd be good to see him in a lead role again. Mm. And um, we also have Chrissy Chow in there, so. As you guys know, I'm going to enjoy this one. <laughs> also released Yum Investigation from 2023, released by Panorama Entertainment. This is an interesting one because we got the other big Canto Pop Boy band, Era, in this one. Ah. And uh, it's a little bit about a detective agency who deal with supernatural investigations. Oh, that sounds good. So that might be a fun mm. one. Have a look and see what you think, guys. Mm. Also released Brotherhood of the Rebel 2023 from Vicol Entertainment. Again, we've got another link to our friends at Cine Asia because Carlos Chan is in this one. He's the lead and he was, most recently we saw him in The Goldfinger, but we've mm. also covered him in, in films like 12 Golden Ducks. We have uh, one of our favourite classic Hong Kong actors, Ken Cheng, in there. Okay. And uh, yeah, you love Ken Cheng. And I it's do. also got Louis Chung, who you like in oh, there. Yeah, excellent. And Nikki Chow. So, you know, Sounds interesting good. cast. And it could be could be a bit of fun, you know, a triad drama with Carlos Chan. I like the sound of that. Mm. Then we have Death Stranding from 2023, released by CN Entertainment. And when I heard that, I was thinking of the uh, PlayStation game with Norman Reedus, but right. it's not that. <laughs> this is um, actually directed by Danny Pang, who's, you know, right. well known for doing the Eye Trilogy. And he also covered, you remember these, the films with Aaron Kwok, the detective films that you really oh, love. Oh, yes, yes. And you kept buying me an Aaron Kwok shirt yeah. <laughs> after watching those films. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a crime drama, you know, that should be good. I really cool. fancy that, yeah. 
also released by CN Entertainment, Bursting Point from 2023. Yeah, this is another thriller. This one's about an uh, anti-narcotics unit shaft. It's directed by Dante Lam, who I've loved ever since The Beast Cops. Uh, a lot right. of people out there might yeah. know him for Operation Mekong, especially as it had a spell on Netflix. In this film, though, it stars Nick Chung, and um, we love Nick Chung, I mean, he's such a good actor. Mm. And it's got another guy that we really, really like in it, Philip Kyung. Oh, yeah. Turns up everywhere yeah, these does. days. Yeah. And uh, also Chrissy Chow. There might be a couple <laughs> films I might be tempted to get in this, yes. this batch. Um, it looks like it, doesn't it? And then finally, we have from Edco Films, The Moon from 2023. I thought this one might appeal to you, Shaz, with it being a South Korean sci-fi about a man stuck in space after an accident. Um, mm, that sounds right up my street. I thought it might. Mm. And bear in mind, though, Well Go USA will be releasing this also, so you have options there. Right. Are there any that you guys fancy from this list? Mm. Are there any that you've got? Can anybody tell us any about these titles? If you can, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, we look forward to hearing what you've all got to say. Anything else to add, Shaz, before we go? No, that's just, it sounds like a fantastic list. It does indeed. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, perhaps give us one of those, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Nicholas, <laughs> <laughs>